some rubber dollies. this morning on Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Wednesday, April 8th, if you lost track. <laughs> played a couple fun tunes yesterday. We played a bunch of our, I don't know, happy Canadian <laughs> pattern dance tunes, which are a lot of fun. Um, so we'll continue on. Okay, okay we're going. We're all good. Orville and Melody are here, our regulars. Mm. <laughs> well, let's play a, I don't know, from the sound of music. Not exactly old time, but it's everybody not... thinks it's old time. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. What, this one? Yes, Edelweiss. Really? Oh. Well, it's very American, that's for sure. <laughs> it's not Austrian, but uh, the Edelweiss. Is a beautiful flower. So let's play the voice. <laughs> Just for fun. Yeah. <laughs> older, older than the name, for sure. Mm -hmm. The Arkansas Traveler in the key of D. <laughs> Thank you. 
What have that got your toes tapping? Speaking of dance tunes, you want to do the one of the ones we always play for dances at camps? At, or camp with chirps? Okay, sure. John Shore. Okay. You remember how it goes? I have to remember this. I, we, I usually play piano. Da, da, da. I'll remember it. No. <laughs> <laughs> It's one we always play for the dances, but uh, chirps always starts it. <laughs> no, I'm thinking of the other one. Oh, oh no. Well, thanks. oh, I remember it now. John Short's in the key of D. beginner fiddle clip kids class. I think adults come too. I don't know who comes as it's online. Well, Calvin tuned in. <laughs> Calvin Valrath tuned in the last two minutes of my class. I don't know why. <laughs> so uh, we, I learned, I taught the kids, kids, I taught this tune yesterday, a uh, jig called uh, Chase Me Charlie, also known as Cock of the North. Um, I like to teach it in the key of A. 
So let's play that. Maybe some of you tuned in yesterday. You can play this. Play it. Play along with me.
good. That's a fun thing about the Well, shall we do another right. one along that vein? Uh-huh. Do you remember how it goes? No. You Did you bring in the book with it? In no. It? Oh. Well, let's not do that one then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's play something else. But, uh, um... Do you remember how the snake river reel goes? No? Just play something else. Yeah. Yeah. Play something I don't. <laughs> I'd be even different, huh? <laughs> uh, let's play Julianne Johnson. We haven't played that in a while. Key of D? Mm -hmm. Now play fiddle or guitar. Mm -hmm. Cherry Kirsch. Oh, that's where you bought that. Yeah. And then I made my mom and your mom. Well, it was like a combined birthday effort because it was a belated birthday. Anyway, with that Kirsch, I made Schwarzwälder Kirschtop. Black Forest. Speaking the English? It's so Schwarzwälder Kirschtop. Kirsch. You need real Kirsch to make it really tasty. That's a cherry. Cherry liqueur. 
But anyway, we got it at the distillery in Missoula where we were playing at the Old Town Gathering. Yeah, we played Julianne Johnson. Right. Yeah. And yeah, everyone, that's how that all goes together. Everyone thought that was cool. Yeah, right, what are we going to play? Whatever you want to play. Um, <laughs> hmm. We should play a waltz. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but which one? Hmm. Let's play Morningstar. Or let's try to play Morningstar. Uh, okay. Is that the one that has a C chord in it and an A minor? No. <laughs> Or, uh, oh, one that Cade plays. Yes. One of them. It's in the it key. has a C and an A minor, yeah. It's in the key of G. This is one of my favorite waltzes that I learned from uh, Dick Barry. Long ago. typing chords in there for you. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be great. <laughs> that would be entertaining. Yeah, instead of playing along and just writing out the chords as we're playing them. Yeah. <laughs> well, shall we play oh, one of our crazy C tunes? About uh, Down Little Egypt. Yeah. Uh, another Missouri chirps tune. Key is C.
crooked, but it's crooked a couple of times so it comes out straight. <laughs> yep. Well. All right. Now, um, boss. <laughs> Talk about the workshop that's coming up tonight. Um, oh yes, with Calvin Volrath, um, the, fa the famous Canadian, Canadian fiddle legend. But he's still alive. We have and <laughs> very much. <laughs> I think he plays more than we do. And he's, uh, yeah, he's from <clears throat> Alberta. Yep. And from. Uh, Two hours north of Edmonton. That's right. That's what I was trying to remember. Yep. And he was, he was a great inspiration for both Isaac and I when we were starting out. Well, this was the first cassette tape ever, Emma Lake Live, that I wore out. That you got. See, the, you can't even see the cover anymore. And I, <laughs> I wore this out. Yep. We both, uh, Emma Lake Live, were, Emma Lake were introduced to Calvin's playing fairly early on. I can attribute a lot of why I play the fiddle to Calvin actually, because in uh, 1989, he came to Great Falls here and played for the Centennial, the state Centennial, uh, he and another guy. And uh, that was the first time I had really heard really great fiddle playing. I was already playing uh, Suzuki and was really getting fed up with that because my brother and I were very competitive and he was older and he was playing. <clears throat> anyway, I kept threatening to quit and uh, first the old time fiddlers, who we are a part of and are representing here, came to my school um, and played and I thought that was pretty cool and I think I told my mom, I was like, oh that's cool. And then we went and saw Calvin play and I was just blown away. Uh, I remember still very clearly to this day watching him play and just being like wow that's amazing and it made everybody move and was so happy and bouncy and really amazing so uh, I think at that point I gave my parents the ultimatum or something like that that was like I'm either going to quit or I'm going to play the fiddle and so they said okay yeah you can play the when fiddle. you were what eight nine years old? I, I would have been nine at that point yeah maybe eight um, so Calvin really had a big influence and then over the years at Montana Phil Camp thanks to the Buckley family um, who I also met at that time because they were his pickup band um, at that show and met them. And then, yeah, over the years, they kept bringing he, Calvin back and they brought in a bunch of other great Canadian players, April Virch, who I ended up working for and became great friends with, uh, the Cleaver brothers, uh, Patty Kustruck, who I still know and are friends with. And yeah, all sorts of great Canadian players really got me into that whole scene and I think one of is one of those tapes my mom's two of them there's a whole pile of cassette we, tapes we have we an entire stack of Calvin <laughs> tapes uh, that between the any, two of us we don't have any CDs we just have cassette tapes of Calvin I have a digital download <laughs> I, I skipped a generation of CDs but <laughs> uh, these are videos we just have anyway enough talking about Calvin let's uh, <laughs> he's going to teach a workshop tonight at six and he's going to be teaching Calvin tunes which really doesn't narrow it down much because he's written thousands literally of tunes it seems like every time I see him he's written another hundred or so and uh, <laughs> he's recorded most of them also which is also pretty amazing so um, I've never actually taken Calvin's class at camp and I've never officially had a lesson with Calvin but we sat around and played a lot and my mom took his class and some of my friends have taken his classes so and of course Growing up with the Buckleys, they played lots of Calvin tunes, and so I learned lots of them. And yeah. I guess sort of by osmosis, I've learned these tunes, a couple of them. <laughs> so we'll do a couple of them. Uh, first one, I don't know that Calvin actually wrote it, but I know he taught it. No, Big I know Bear. It's, on, I, it's on these cassettes. But it's I on the cassettes, remember. and I remember him teaching it at camp. Um, yeah, and some of my friends learned it. So here is Big Bear. It's in the key of E minor. Hopefully I can play it.
there. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Those ones up north. <laughs> <laughs> well, shall we play one that, another Calvin tune? Yes. This is one that uh, when we were doing the Tunes and Coffee uh, Tune a Day series, I played and didn't know where it came from and didn't know anything about it, didn't know how I knew it. I think it sounds like a gypsy well, so you didn't even remember the name of it, I don't yeah, think. Yeah, didn't know the name of it, and then after we put it out there, somebody was like, oh, that's a Calvin tune called Daria. So, again, one I learned by osmosis, I guess, but, uh, <laughs> and it's in uh, A minor, right? Yes. Yeah, and it's sort of a gypsy, gypsy-ish gypsy waltz. <laughs> and everybody's going to see it. <laughs> oh. um, yeah, now we can relax the rest of that. No. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> have to have more coffee. Um, that's right. Uh, your mom said Big Bear was written by John Arcan. There you go. And I want to play a tune. Another John Arcan tune? A tune that was actually, I guess, co-written. I didn't know this for a long time. Co-written by Calvin and John Arcan. Uh, called the dining hall jig and I learned this from Bob Montgomery who's a fiddle player he was from Oyama British Columbia um, Oyama? Oyama just north of Kelowna um, and uh, he, he taught at Emma Lake a lot too um, and uh, I think it was I, I first saw live <laughs> um, Calvin Valrath, I think in 1995 at the Festival du Bois, we, they had a fiddle contest in the early days of the Festival du Bois, um, and that was the first time I really heard some good fiddle playing from Michael Sanishin and Bob Bisson, good Canadian name, he was a good guitar player too, um, he taught me how to play the jig. Um, anyway, so I don't know why Calvin was at this fiddle contest, um, maybe he was judging, I'm not sure. But anyway, all of a sudden, he was off on stage with Keith Hill um, as the guitar player and just cranked out some amazing tunes. And I remember sitting in the front row going, like, wow, I <laughs> this is the real thing. Like, wow, pretty blown away. Um, I remember he played like, Devil's Dream and then he added all sorts of 
probably changed keys about <laughs> probably, 20 times. I don't and... know. <laughs> I don't even know if he changed keys, but he, he just, yeah, played with so much energy, and it was great and inspiring for sure, but I didn't actually get to know him until a couple of years ago when he came to Montana Fiddle Camp, and uh, had, had, I took his class, but I don't actually remember the tunes I learned from him <laughs> a couple of years ago. There were so many. I feel like I I've learned a lot of Calvin tunes over the years, and then I never have anybody to play them with, so... Well, that's the thing. If you, if you don't have anyone or any reason to play them all the time, they just kind of fall out of your repertoire. So let's all watch the workshop tonight, and then we'll all know them, and then we can play them around here. And then next time we see each other in person, <laughs> we'll that's play right. them. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I don't know what he's going to teach, but I'm sure it'll be amazing. So let's play the dining hall jig. chicken soup. So it smells like chicken. <laughs> Random facts of the day. <laughs> totally forgot what I was going to say. Oh well, it'll come back to me. Well, you want to do uh, the poor girl wolf? Sure. You see? It's an okay. Andy DeJarlis tune, right? Yeah. I know that because it says it on the paper there. It's I have like a cheat sheet no here. Idea. I thought I'd play a couple of, of other Canadian fiddle player, famous Canadian fiddle players. We'll just call this Canadian, Canadian fiddle player week <laughs> since we had Alex on Monday and yeah. Gavin on Wednesday. That's right. Oh, that's what I was going to say. I was going to tell you that um, I first met Alex Kesterock in a barn in Manitoba. <laughs> not sure if I want to know more or not. <laughs> just joking. It was at the annual honey party. Um, just outside of Headingley, um, apiary, a honey, a bee farmer, and anyway, had this annual party, and, and Patty and Jeremy Russo and Alex were the entertainment, and they have a hay barn, so they always, you know, have, they weren't, they weren't dancing or anything, but um, it's also where I met Fred Penner, so if you're Canadian, you know who Fred Penner is, and yes, he sang The Cat Came Back the very next day. They thought he was a goner. The cat came back. He just I'm not Canadian, couldn't I'm lost. stay away. <laughs> All right, so let's play the poor girl waltz in the key of C, written by a uh, Manitoba fiddle player, um, Andy DeJarlis. Yes. Yes. Well, one, two, three, uh, one, two.
wrote a little set for a Canadian fiddle contest set, a waltz, a jig, and a reel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's how, that's what they do, but... That's how y'all do that. That's how, <laughs> if, you go to a, if you go to a fiddle contest in Canada, you need to know how to play a jig, or at least fake it or something. <laughs> yes. Well, let's play a, a Graham Townsend jig. Also in the key of C, it's called the rocking, rocking chair jig. We don't know what to do with Jake around here. Yeah, did you see Kelly just joined? So, yeah, speaking of, I'm just joking. <laughs> maybe, maybe. What? Remember? She went to Canada and didn't know how to play a jig? Oh, right. I think? Well, maybe not. No, maybe happened, it wasn't. Right? Maybe that's not what it was. Yeah, probably. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Anyway, <laughs> let's play uh, Don Messer's Breakdown, All right. written by Don Messer in QC. I don't know why, they're all in the keys. I maybe we'll go to Johnny Wagner and Clever Cook. Alright.
couldn't remember which Wagner we were going to do. Because there's Tennessee Wagner, and there's Wagner, and there's Johnny Wagner, and there's all these different ones. Derivatives of kind of the same tune, I guess. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Johnny Wagner. Goes to the, the F. Caught me the first day. Hmm. Oh, well. All right, now. Now what? Well, we've got a few more minutes. Haven't done any banjo the, tunes uh, yet. No. Let's play uh, <clears throat> Sandy Boys. That was one that the other day we played Crunch Mountain Backstep. It's basically the same tune, but a different B part. Yes. I can remember this one because the part that's different is the hey, hey, Sandy Boys, Sandy Boys, Sandy Boys, hey, hey, Sandy Boys. I'll go into town or something. Thank you. 
it out. You said N. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, well. N. All's well that oh, ends. And I should have put my foot up. Out. Out. That's the word. Out. What kind of Canadian are you? <laughs> All right. We got another banjo one, or you want to? I think it's that time for our last song. jam tunes and bluegrass big sciota is actually pop goes the weasel thanks daryl anger for ruining that song for me now <laughs> so i was just thinking of that that we should play big sciota oh okay since you have the banjo since i have the banjo and we're in g and we should go into pop goes the weasel it's the same song <laughs> all right kick it off workshop.
thanks for joining us again. And uh, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bring some coffee.